Okay, guys. I am here. With my baby, Angel. This is her first diaper change and first clothing change. Just one moment. Yes, I don't know what size diapers you wear yet, so we're going to see. We're going to take off her little sockies. And she has on her binky. I'm going to take it off in a little bit, but I don't want her to start crying. Oh, it's a little, little, little thing. I'm thinking this looks pretty small. So I have a newborn size diaper. Let's try this on. I'm hoping she can fit this size because I have lots of these. She's a very petite little girl. She's, um, I think she's 20 inches. Oh, look, I haven't even... <laughs> Oh, you know how it is to get a new baby. Act like you don't remember how to do anything. So I'll change this little girl diaper. That would be a good little girl to sleep through this. She had a long travel. She had a long travel. Yes, she fits it. From Eternal Hugs Hospital. Ugh. I'm so happy about this baby. And I wanted to say, if for you those that may see her on Facebook, on some of her pictures, over her eyelids, I mean, her eyes area look might look a little, come across as dark, but it's not dark. Those are her eyelashes. She has dark eyelashes. And so, let's take this out, Mommy. She has... Such cute little lips. Let me see if you guys can see. I hope you guys can see her little lips. <laughs> I don't know whether to put her on this or this. I don't know what to put her on. I think I'm just going to put her on a t-shirt um, just so I can be able to see all of her tonight. And I'll just wrap her in a blanket. She, um... She has full arms and full limbs. I'm, I'm sorry, and full legs. Not full limbs. Um, she can suck her thumb. So she is a little thumb sucker. Um, I'll show you guys. See her as a thumb sucker. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. So, so cute. Oh, I was about to say, where's, I'm so slow. I was about to say, where's my camera so I could take a picture of her? Uh, duh. I'm recording with the camera. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I, I feel so wonderful. Um, now this is the feeling that you get when you get that new baby. And this is where I can see where it's very therapeutic to people that um, may not be able to have babies or whatever because I literally have held her since she's got here and seriously feels like I have a new baby in the house. She, um, she flops and everything like I didn't reweight her or anything. Um, Yogi weighted her so perfectly. Her head is so floppy. And she, oh my gosh. She's just gorgeous. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Her little boom boom is uh, signed by the sculptor. But um, I guess that's not, maybe not that big of a deal to you guys. It is to me because I hope to have her forever and ever in a day. I'm just like, and I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I know every time I come on this camera, I am saying, let's see if I can get her to turn her head that way so you guys can see it. I'm always saying how each baby is um, better than the next. <laughs> and um, I think it's just because I just keep, um, I don't know, I, I just, I keep, I, I know what I'm looking for now since I've collected so many babies and I just keep trying to get as close as I can to everything in that one baby and I think 
I've done it. Where is her? Huh, here they are. <laughs> looking for these little booties. Um, she has lots of, uh, like, she has nice modeling and some birthmarks. She has a birthmark on her thigh. She has certain very unique little markings on her baby scratches, stuff like that. And all the stuff that I love. Oh my gosh. And I was really, I, I just, just really was impressed. Not that, that Yogi don't do a good job, but this is, this is not, this is like a, even a step up from the Yogi work that I've seen in my collection. Like, it's like she's went to a whole nother level with this baby. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to do too much other than that. I think I'm going to keep on that. I love that she has these full arms so that she can, um, I don't have to worry about the cloth there. It's just so nice to have that. And I wish you guys can see her, um, her hair and the texture of her skin feels very skin-like and it looks like it's regular skin, like my, um, Dreamy, except for hers is even more of a matted finish. See if I can get you guys to see her. See if I can pick you guys up. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you guys her. Um, that is her hair. Isn't it beautiful? That's the one thing I love about Yogi. Um, when she takes her time and put her mind to something... She can do just about anything um, because I've never seen her root like this before in my life. But her rooting is so perfect, um, beautiful. Now what I am going to do, and I normally don't do this because I don't like to feel like for my artists that I've dealt, did work with, I don't like for them to feel like I'm trying to compare their work. And I'm not taking away from any baby that I have. You guys know I love my babies, but I'm not going to show you guys her next to Cameron because you guys know how I feel about Cameron. And I'm going to show you just how beautiful she is. Because one thing you can know, if you put a very well done baby next to another well done baby, that baby will outshine the other babies. But if you can put a well-done baby next to another well-done baby, you will definitely be able to see the difference. But what I can tell you is I'll let you judge for yourself, but she is just gorgeous. You see that? She is gorgeous. absolutely gorgeous and see where his is showing up a little bit more red it is red red over him but it's a little bit more red than on camera than it is in person and you can barely see his lashes but I think because she has black black lashes it makes it look like she's actually have black over her lids but she don't those are her lashes um, in person is definitely not um, there it is that's how it looks You guys, I, I don't know, um, like I said, I'll say it again, if you guys get the opportunity, and I love that her binky fits, and it fits her so perfect, like she looks so cute with a binky and without a binky, like that's what I love, love that I can just put her binky on there, and it clicks just fine, that's the binky that came with her by the way. If you guys haven't seen her video. But yeah. Um, yeah. That like each artist have their own nick. But with Yogi, I always say her thing is the realism that she put in them to where like you feel like you have a real baby because her skin tone is her complexion is dead on. Her um modeling her the the blushing and uh, like the little red in here in her forehead and the 
different undertones and all that. And she even have little milk spots on her nose, which let's see if I can get her. Oh, you guys ain't gonna be able to see it. I was trying to get where you can see like she has little tiny milk spots on her. Oh, Mookie, on her uh, nose, and it's so realistically done. Dang it. I hate that you guys can't see it. All right, well. Anyway, I got to go shopping for her. I just realized that I don't really have much for her. And the, the stuff that I do have, I don't want her to wear. Because she is such a baby baby. So, she does have these. And I'll probably... And she has hats, but I can't cover up the hair right now. So... She has a little booties, but I got to get her some more stuff. So, I will be going shopping for her. I, I know I'm supposed to be on a budget, but this is a must. I have to go shopping for her. So, see you guys later. Um, and some of her details, and her little hands, her little fingertips, has little red and little vein. In. And by the way, this kit is the most softest kit ever. My daughter thought it was silicone. Um... Cause it's so super soft, but yeah, she's uh, she's she's definitely the softest kid. The sculptor did an amazing job on her, her little head. Tear up, yo, whoop, mommy. There we go. Well, see you guys later. Let me get this little girl on to bed with mommy.